Alright, what's going on you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. I've got a couple of interesting stories for you guys today. The first story that I've got for you guys today, a recent physique update from Nick Walker. And now we're getting close to 13 weeks out from the 2024 New York Pro, where Nick will be going up against none other than the last year's defending champion, Tonio Burton, and looking to pick up that Olympia qualification. Nick has said there isn't a special invitation, and he doesn't want one. He's not going to wait around for one. And I respect that. Even though I think he would qualify, I, I, I think he deserves one. But I like that he's going to try to win a show like the New York Pro to get back into the Olympia. Now, this is the other thing I like about Nick. If you look at this, these pictures, there's a clear difference here between these and the other pictures that he typically posts. And that's noted in the caption that this is right after his workout. So he's got a really nice pump. He's in really good lighting. And the thing that I like about Nick is that he does something that a lot of other people don't do. In almost every update that we see from Nick, and he posts a lot of them, they're like cold updates, meaning he didn't just work out, he's not pumped, he's like fasted, first thing in the morning, probably flat, not the best lighting. He typically gives us like a real raw update of his physique, and I think you can see the clear difference here, him with a pump. He looks way crazier than the typical updates that we see from him, and the reason for that is is because typically, like I said, it's like fasted first thing in the morning, just after cardio. And then here, like if you look at the most muscular, he looks pretty damn crazy. He's got vascularity all throughout his upper body, um, crazy striations in the chest for, like I said, he's like 13 weeks out right now. Um, he looks fantastic. And I think if you go to the side chest pose, you know, same thing, really full, really vascular. And that's the pump. And I'm glad that Nick is also posting and letting us know that it is a pumped update in the caption. I feel like an example of this would be like Justin Rodriguez. We see a lot of updates from Justin where he looks phenomenal, but almost all his updates are taken like in the best possible lighting right after a workout fully pumped. And then we see him on stage and he doesn't quite look like he looked in a lot of the updates leading up to the show. And Nick kind of does the opposite of that. And that's what I appreciate about him. So with Nick, a lot of times he ends up looking better on stage then he looked in the updates leading into the show, so you're almost never underwhelmed with what you see from Nick because he kind of adjusts your expectations in that way by giving you like the most raw, real physique updates. But he looks phenomenal here, and the question is, will this be an easy win for Nick? And if you go over and you look at the latest update from Tonio Burton, who is Nick's main competition at this point, I'm sure we're going to see other guys jump in this lineup. I'm sure we haven't even, we probably haven't even heard half the guys that are doing this show. But Tonio is the real deal. He's made a lot of improvements over the last couple of years. I've seen a lot of people compare his physique to being similar to like a Dexter Jackson. He's a smaller guy, but he's really symmetrical. He's got great proportions. He comes in really good condition. He had a great eighth place Olympia finish this year, which was huge for him. And like I said before, it kind of got um, it kind of got overlooked, I guess, because of everything going on within the top six. So not a lot of people were really talking about the fact that he moved up significantly in Olympia placings in just one year. I think last year he was well outside of the top 10. And by last year, I mean 2022. So we're talking about the 2023 Olympia that he was eighth. And yeah, looking at the scorecards now while I'm recording this from 2022, he was tied for last place. So he was tied for 16th place with like several other guys at the 2022 Olympia and moved up not only into the top 10, but eighth place in 2023. That's significant progress for Tonio in just one year's time. And like I said, it feels kind of like he's flying under the radar. He's getting overlooked a little bit, but he's making a lot of improvements really rapidly. So I think that Tonio is actually going to put up a solid fight at this New York Pro. I don't think it's going to be the easiest win for Nick. I think obviously everybody's sitting here thinking, well, Nick's going to come in and steamroll this. This is his show. Um, and that may be the case. I mean, on paper, Nick is superior to probably anybody that's going to do this show. But I still think we're going to get to see a little bit of a battle between him and Tonio, and it's probably not going to be a total steamroll blowout, but it could it could very well be. Because I'll admit, Nick looks pretty, he looks pretty crazy right now, and he looks like he is um, well on his way to almost fully recovering from that hamstring injury. But the point is, Tonio looks great too. He's made a lot of improvements in the past year, um, and I look forward to seeing what kind of package he brings to this New York Pro. Now, next up in the news, we did get a physique update from Samson Dowda. Uh, we're now at two weeks out from the Arnold Classic Ohio, believe it or not. I mean, it's been kind of a wild ride how quickly we've gotten here. And, you know, I think it's interesting, you know, talking about Nick in the beginning of this video. It's interesting looking at kind of the excitement 
towards the Arnold Classic this year, I feel like it's a lot less than it was last year. And I think the reason for that is like there was so much initial excitement about, you know, when that lineup came out this year, it was a great lineup. You had Andrew Jack, you had Hottie Chupin, Samson Dowda, um, Nexilla was on there. And then since that lineup came out, it was kind of just like, you know, this guy dropped out, Andrew Jacked, and then Rubiel. So it was like negative reinforcement after that list came out. And then last year, the list came out, and then it was like, oh, we're upping the prize money to three hundred grand. So that was another like boost to the Arnold Classic. And then a couple weeks later, or like right after, Nick Walker jumps in the lineup, and then there's a ton of excitement for that lineup. So even though this year we get to see an Olympia rematch, basically, between Samson and Hottie, and now you have a former Mr. Olympia with Hottie in this lineup, I, I'm definitely feeling a, a tangible difference between the excitement for this year and the excitement for last year's Arnold Classic. I just feel like, I don't know, people just don't seem as stoked, and maybe that's because it's kind of a foredrawn conclusion that this is going to be between Samson and Hottie, and it just feels like we kind of we kind of just know that at this point. But Samson looks great here as always, and it seems like we might not get, you know, more of these video updates from Samson now that we're getting so close to the show and we're just getting like a picture here and there, which is fine. It seems like all we've really talked about leading up to this Arnold Classic is like these countless videos from both Samson and Hottie. But let's talk about two guys that might really mix things up here. Two guys that I think both have a really good shot at cracking into that top three and two guys that I think will probably have a really good shot at standing next to both Samson and Hottie. And those are the two guys from Brazil. And they have both really impressed me with their updates. The progress that Rafael has made in particular um, has really been pretty – it's been something remarkable, the size that he's put on. But we're talking about Rafael Brandau and Horse MD, Marcelo De Angelis. So they both posted an update yesterday, both a most muscular shot, both in stringer tank tops. And I would say, honestly, I probably have more Brazilian fans sending me these updates from Raphael and Horse than I do like any other fan sending me Hottie and Samson. So the Brazilian fan base, I'm trying to pay attention to what's going on there because they are like really backing these guys. And I think rightfully so. I mean, both these guys are like the real deal. And they both look phenomenal. And you got to take into consideration the fact that you know, bodybuilding in Brazil has really just exploded in the last few years. And from what I understand, there's kind of two different camps here. There's like one camp that's really behind Horse and one camp that's really behind Raphael. And they both think, you know, their guy's going to do better. So these two guys, both two of the guys that I think are going to be towards the top of this lineup. Um, and I guess Brazilian fans are kind of debating on who's going to do better. So the question that I wanted to pose to you guys, just based on this you know, kind of a non-update because they're both wearing tank tops and it's just the most muscular. But who, do, which Brazilian bodybuilder do you think is going to do better here, Horse MD or Raphael? Because honestly, when I saw these most muscular side by side, I was like, man, Horse looks really conditioned even compared to Raphael. And we know that Horse is no small guy. And it's not just these Brazilian guys. The other guy that I really think is going to be right in this mix is is James Hollingshead. He could easily be top three as well. And I really think these every everybody that we talked about in this video, Hottie, Samson, Raphael, Horse, and James, I really feel strongly that that's going to be your top five. Maybe not necessarily in that order that I just gave their names out, but based on all the updates that we've seen, these are the guys that really look like they're the most impressive. So I'll just put up James's three most recent updates where he's wearing these like <laughs> these insane posing trunks. Because I really think this is the best that James has ever looked. He, The guy is like as grainy as he's ever been. He looks like he's carved out of stone. And I think it's worth mentioning here that Milos is coaching him, Milos Sarshov. And I think it's, it's, it's worth mentioning that some of the best-looking guys in this lineup, three of them are coached by Milos. Milos has been you know, one of the more successful coaches in the past year or two. And he could have you know, three of the top five guys here all under him, Horse MD, Samson, and James. And Hottie, of course, is still working with Hani, and I believe that uh, Raphael is still working with Neil Hill. But I do think it's worth mentioning here that it seems like Milos has quite the recipe this year for cranking out these champions. So let me know below, if you haven't already, of these five guys, what order do you think they're going to place? Or do you have somebody different in your top five that I didn't mention here? Let me know in the comments down below. And that's going to wrap it up for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Make sure you like the video, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Very important. And as always, I love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Nick Strength and Power, signing out. All right, guys, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy the content. Also, check out my Instagram, at Nick Strength Power. My Facebook page, which is simply Nick Strength and Power. My secondary YouTube channel, Nick Strength and Vlogs, for vlogs and bonus content that you will not see on this channel. And consider subscribing to my third YouTube channel, Nick Strength and Pokemon, which is all things Pokemon and trading card games completely unrelated to this channel. So if you're into that, give that one a look. And all links to merchandise and social media will be in the description box below. If you guys want a Nick Strength and Power t-shirt, that will be in the Shopify link below. Have a great day.